close so the vowel sounds are similar they're not the same but they're similar so you do have an advantage for that however a lot of the consonants are going to have very crisp differences so for instance repeat after me caro it needs to be crisper on the k caro how much more can you i want i i you know i, I want so much that Hamid's gonna have to wipe his glasses off caro more no, caro. Not, not the, not the R. Ka. Say ka. Ka. More. I need. But I need. Ka. Ka. You feel what kind of energy that is? Good. Thank you very much. I need that kind of energy. Caro. Neo. Yeah. There we go. Ben with a b. There we go. So don't make it. Caro mio ben. It's that's that's too Spanish, and we need caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. No, you see how you're going then, yeah. ben. Ben. Yeah, so it's gonna feel a little bit awkward at first because it sounds really similar to Spanish, but it's not Spanish. It needs to be really Italian. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. See how you're going straight back to the? Yeah. Don't go there. Be really strict on yourself. Ben. Ben. Make sure your lips are coming together. Bilabial, both lips are involved. Ben. Ben. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Credi mi al men. Credi al men. Credi al men. Credi al men. Credi al men. Use that for old art. Credi mi al men. Do you? Credi al men. Credi mi. Credi mi. Al men. Credi mi. Amen. There we go. Already it's getting more and more Italian. -ed. So can we start from the beginning? If all I want you to do is give me those strong, strong, crisp, and clean Italian consonants. Caro mio ben, credi mi al men. Just those first two lines. Concentrate on those particular 
consonants, right? I haven't said anything else about your the what anything. So give me consonants. Do it again. to let that air exhale, expire, get out. Don't try to hold it back. Don't try to uh, control it out. Ah, do that. More. More, more. There, now we're getting somewhere. You feel what that's like in order to get that? You have a wonderful sound, but you need it to get out. Otherwise, you're not, you're not working and we can't build. So what I want is next time you're up here, caro mio ben, clean up those consonants, and lots of voice. Don't hold back. Let it all come out. Because this is a really exciting song, right? It, sometimes, especially when it comes to classical music, when we hear things like this, we think, oh, it's very prim, very reserved. Yeah. You're, you know what you're saying? You know what she's saying in this? Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. So it's really it's just a different style. But you're you're pleading, you're pleading for your dearest yeah. one. Please, no, no, don't don't hurt me. So think about that. Lots of voice, consonants. Okay. Good work. Alrighty, guys. What up? Oh, okay. I'm hungry, and I'm. Semi sleepy, it's not that hot right now in Cali. But let's talk about Gado Mio Ben. Ben, not Ben. This is not Spanish. <laughs> Which to me, it's funny because I'm so used to saying it in Spanish because it sounds like Spanish to me, but it's a different pronunciation, you know? Because Ben, Ben, Ben is Venaki and Ben is. It's translate to uh, my beloved, you know, in, in Spanish, or my di or my dar or my dearest. I prefer. I heard two different translations. I prefer my beloved because in the song it talks about 
please don't leave me don't turn away from me i'm pleading with the love of my uh the man i love or with the love of my life just don't don't hurt me don't be cruel to me don't don't it's an unrequired love i'm in love with you but please don't leave me please don't hurt me you know um so it was very interesting uh it was my first time singing it in front of anyone with my glasses on See how comfortable I am with him? I probably, if it was with someone else, it's probably I wouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm taking a big risk because I'm putting myself out there like that, you know, without taking these off, you know? <laughs> taking this off. Um, you know, and putting it in my body feeling the sound because it's not natural to God home your man great heal your man sense the death long we shall go obviously a lot more sound than that now open open sound been round, you know, it's not as, it's, there's not necessarily a high song, now, I'm debating, which I kind of want to do, kind of want to do, you guys don't want to do good on my someone from Music Man, I might change it, I'm going to put that in my repertoire, and want to sing it, you know what I mean, because it's old school, it's old school, um, and Shirley Jones sings it. But I kind of want to do, to stretch it out a little bit more, um, from the musical carousel, If I Loved You. Now that is the ultimate soprano, because it goes up to a, um, high B flat, not B flat, my, my, my bad, um, a G flat five, you know, so, I want to push myself, it's Basically, the same thing as, same note as, Goodnight My Someone, but instead of a sharp, it, it's funny, it's funny how to explain it on the piano, but it's the same exact note, but instead of a sharp, it's going to be a flat, you know. So, I'm debating if I should do that, because, um, both musical theater, both beautiful pieces that I freaking love, um, a little bit more, ch a little bit more challenging is, um, you know, good night. Um, when I'm saying good night with someone, um, I need food. I really need food. <laughs> um, a little bit more challenging is if I love to you, for me to go across. So you, it's a very high song, and I kind of will challenge me. Both songs have their own challenges, challenges, um, because it's musical theater and, you know, you know, um, but I kind of want to do a little bit more challenging, you know, um, but we'll see, we'll see, I'm gonna go get some food because I feel I need something in my body, I'm tired, <laughs> and I need to, uh, redo the diction for Anthony. Uh, he says more diction and a lot more sound putting into my body, figuring out, and also I have Kenner's version, so <coughs> it's a lot simple. <coughs> it's a lot simpler, um, you know, and it won't confuse me as much, you know, probably write the counts in and, you know, figure that out. Well, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry that there wasn't an intro to this because, you know, it's like who who sang, who wants to sing it. It's like voluntary, voluntary, like you volunteer. So I was the first one who went up for the second song. But, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, always. I'll be singing. Alrighty, guys, what up? Happy hmm, Thursday. I'm currently eating chips. Doritos, to be exact. 
mango juice. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm trying to be productive, but I'm kind of lazy. I want to work with my parents today because I got in trouble and I forgot to try my clothes yesterday. But I um literally I was hungry. I broke my twenty dollar bill. Who <laughs> just shouldn't broke it? Um, but broke my twenty dollar bill because I was starving. But I've still have to pay the class for Anthony. Pay that on Monday. So, oh, so I went over with my parents today. It was bittersweet because I believe, did I tell you guys, I don't know if I told you guys, but Mrs. Nancy, uh, the first house boss, which is just my mom's boss, mom, passed away, like, less than a month ago or something like that, I think. Um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that's a month ago. Or has it been a month? I think it's been a month. So it was bittersweet. And I had to go help my parents. So right now, I have to go play the piano because I haven't touched the piano. I haven't touched Polly Schultz in a while. Besides warming up the voice. You know, lightly doing that. Lightly. You know, barely. But I kind of feel like playing piano. Because I... I am still working on Italian, trying not to butcher the Italian, you know, caro mio ben, you know, caro mio pen, ben, not ben, not ben again, you know, I just have to figure out not to butcher the Italian, cross fingers, I don't butcher this Italian, and I get these, literally, they're counting the splits and all that, 20 words, it's not that difficult. It repeats, it's like first verse, second verse, and the second and the first verse repeats. So technically, it's what? Yeah, technically twenty words, give or take. So I gotta get these words right because Andy wants me to get the words right. So I have to get the words right. So. That's my day for today. And soon I have to go play because I'm gonna relax and playing the piano should relax me. Not gonna be. Yeah. That's my day. Tomorrow I have to go be a naughty mom. I have to watch Adrian tomorrow. Um. That should be fun and interesting. So, I will talk to you later. I know this video is kind of short and brief, but I'm just chilling. Alright, <laughs> Alrighty, guys, may the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, and always. And I'll be seeing you. Bye, guys. Alrighty, guys, what up? I be mean, hey. I'm trying to stay cool. It's kind of hot around here. At my sister's spot. My sister's house, she lives 20, 30 minutes away from um, Six Flags, Magic Mountain. So, it's kind of hot. Not unbearable, but it's just annoyingly hot. I don't like the heat. So, yeah, uh, I'm chilling. Little one over here. Leah, what you doing? I'm walking my tablet. What else? I'm walking my my iPad. Okay. What else? My tablet. Okay. He has two things, his iPad and his tablet. So... I should be productive looking over my stuff. Damn, it's so hot. Anthony, forgive me. It's just really...
really hot. No. Rolling the R. Ready. It's hard to roll the R. Yeah, I know. Ready and men. Not from the throat. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Ready and men. So uncorded. Ready and men. Sen. Senza di ten long we shall go. Clear and crisp and thin ones. Ready, young man. Can I pick the road or? I think I can. Figure it out. Mm, I don't know when I'm gonna sing him. Maybe next week. Um, yeah, because we probably started our second song, but since it's like six week class, yeah, you know. I'm reading from here, not from my chest. I'm kind of being lazy, but today I'm having big clover there, which I add the wings. I do the wings. Which <laughs> Carmen said, Leave me the wings. I thought she said, Eat the wings. I eat all six wings. <laughs> and I got a big clover sausage. Because I prefer sausage over for pony. So there's this little behind over there. So, I'm literally... This one is... Mm. Shouldn't be productive. I should be productive, but I don't want to be productive today. It's Friday, y'all. Yeah, where's my puppy? He's about to come, baby. Where is it? He's working. Why? He has to work. I want to with mom. Mom wants to go get an owie. Yeah, she wants to get her foot. Her foot checked, yeah. Do you want to give her a shot? Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not. Mommy, give you a shot. Oh, so, I'll be productive tomorrow. Even though I have all my books and all my stuff there. I'll be productive tomorrow. Yeah. So, I'll be a little productive later on when this kid goes to bed. Because Carmen's having something that she has to do. And plus, I rarely ever sleep. I always go to bed late. So that's my advantage. So tomorrow, I'll be productive, or later on tonight, I should say. It takes me forever to fall asleep. And, I've been silly researching two things. Student um, credit, like credit cards, and also um, highly sensitive personalities, which I found out that I am. So I'm currently reading this book actual reading it, not audible booking it, <laughs> um, about sensitive, uh, the top signs of a highly sensitive personality, or five, top five signs of a highly sensitive personality by Dr. I'll get back to you on the doctor part, <laughs> but she's a psychologist, a PhD psychologist of highly sensitive personalities, which I read only a couple pages. And it's really, really, it, it describes me so much. I'll get into that later on. Because it, I looked up, can emotional pain 
um, can emotional pain turn into physical pain. So that's kind of linked to kind of hypersensitive personalities and then another video, another video, which I took a test on, which describes me exactly, you know what I mean? Which is funny because um, most highly per sensitive personalities or HSPs for short are very introverted, which I am. I'm between introverted and extroverted because I'm not, I'm shy, but I'm very sociable in a way, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm in the middle of that car, you know what I mean? Um, that's what I'm looking into, those two things. But yeah, I'm just chilling. Are we chilling, boy? I mean McDonald's. We're not eating McDonald's, boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm eating McDonald's. Are you chilling? No, I mean second at McDonald's. <laughs> Where is McDonald's? No, you're not. You're not eating McDonald's, hon. I'm here. Mm. So. What? I'm here, McDonald's. Are we chilling or are we eating McDonald's? What? Are we chilling? What? Are we chilling? We're eating McDonald's. Okay, this one's eating McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you driving to McDonald's? What? Are you gonna drive to McDonald's? Where? Are you gonna drive to McDonald's? What? Are you gonna drive to McDonald's? Yep. Okay, go. Bye, baby. I want a Big Mac. What? I want a Big Mac. Yes, bitch. Say it. I want a Big Mac. <laughs> bye, Loco. Okay, bye, Mimo. Love you. I'm watching this child, so hopefully this child goes to sleep. <laughs> Honey, turn off the the iPad if you're not playing it, Papa. Okay, thanks, babe. It's already cooking? Yes, it's cooking. Thanks, babe. I got your Avi here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, big girl. Mmm, thank you. Okay, I was gonna trash. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Okay. Alrighty guys, I am probably gonna go eat some more pizza. Oh, at 8 I'm gonna turn on that thing. Because that's when I can actually turn it on. Uh-huh. Thank you. No! Give me a happy meal. Oh, here you go babe. No, you gotta, you have to get, you have to put the food. Yeah, I did. What? It's in my hand. No, I have to put them inside the apple. Okay. When you give it me. Okay. What? Here. No, I don't have the money. Okay. You have to give me the money. Here you go. Thank you. You my food. Thank you. You my happy meal. I already did. Here you go, hon. Thank you. Wait, where do you, where do you want this? Yeah. Um, a cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go there. You need a apple Yeah, babe. Apple? Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about having rolled. <laughs> I got you, coach. You're apple meal. Thank you, baby. Ooh, yummy apple fries. 
Thank you. Uh, <gasps> thank you, my mom. Oh. Mmm. I I I want a happy meal. Here you go, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I gotta go. Thank you, babe. Say bye, babe, and more. Where are you? I want a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Say bye, babe, and more. Yeah. Say yes. bye, baby. Say, hey, babe. I'm Babe, but say bye. We're just chilling. I got you. I got you happy. You happy to be on the Okay, thank you, babe. You're Alrighty, I'm guys. Open it. I will see you guys. Bye. Say bye, baby. We're just chilling. I want happy meal. Okay, here you go. Thank you. So we are chilling and like, pretending. Yeah. Cheaper, can I have you? Yeah. An apple? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is pretty much average. I have to clean. Actually clean. Oh, yummy. Alrighty, guys. May the Lord bless you today. Thank you. Bye, babe. Alright guys, may the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, and then I'll be seeing you. Bye guys. Alrighty.